Hello everybody and welcome to yet more perpetual testing. Now, I know what you're immediately thinking, but no, this isn't that. This is in fact a voxel and this was made and recommended by Terrified of Ice Cream. So a very big thank you to Terrified of Ice Cream. Uh, let's get it out of the way now and say it. This looks like Minecraft. It really, really does. But this is actually apparently part of Aperture's foray into procedurally generated virtual reality testing chambers. And I'm guessing then that this would be our... That's that's really quite strange to look at. Oh, and really quite skinny too. Okay, this is proper pixel art type stuff. Uh, this, I'm guessing if I pick it up is, yeah, our portal gun in pixel art form. Even the crosshair has gone pixel art. Uh, that's really, really quite cute and strange at the same time. Uh, do you function like a regular poor? Yeah, okay, we're going full on pixel art in this, aren't we? Oh, that looks wonderful already. Uh, I really, really say this quite often, but I really love Hammer maps. Well, I'm guessing this is Hammer. If you did this in Puzzle Maker, you're some sort of hacking genius. But I really love Hammer maps where the creator has gone to so much detail. Wonderful, wonderful pixel art, voxel style detail. Uh, is that a tube that gives us our cubes? With a pixel art aperture. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get stuck on saying voxel and pixel art a lot looking at this. Um... We have a look in there. Oh, look at the cube. I thought the portal gun was cute, but that cube is just plain adorable. Uh, can we get that cube so we can have a proper look at it? It appears to connect to an even more adorable pixel art voxel formed very square button over there. Yeah, okay, I like this map already. Uh, does this gun function like a regular portal gun? It does appear to function like a regular portal gun with regular looking portals. So that's normal even though we're in this virtual reality simulation uh, there is a button over there and uh, button over there angled panels with a little bit of a pixel art drop it's not a pixel art drop it just looks like one uh, that should launch us over there right if we use you like a regular portal fling even the doors yeah I'm gonna like this a lot the detail in these sort of maps I love it uh, look at that that's really cool Somehow still perfectly the aperture pedestal button. Uh, let's press upon you. Drops us a cube, which appears to have a bit of a different weight to it, but let's have a look at this cube. That is absolutely 10 times newborn puppy adorable. You could do like a paper craft version of that and it would look absolutely perfect. That is really, really cool and quite special at the same time. Uh, there is a button up there that that needs to go on, so let's do the same launching thing to get ourselves to that side. First, let's get back up to here. Uh, this was enough... This was enough of a drop to get us over there, so it's probably enough of a drop to get us over that side. Let's do you and place down upon you. Grab this absolutely adorable cube and leap into here. Chucks us over here where... Look at this button. Hold on, you stay out the way for a moment. Even the button is just perfectly aperture but again in like papercraft 2d minecraft-esque pixel art form uh that does do our uh, exit over that side even the doors have like a perfectly appropriate sound effect yeah i love maps with this sort of attention to detail uh let's stick you up on there let's do a fling to get ourselves over to that side and continue on with the simulation yeah, I guess Aperture figured it was, like, cheaper to do testing this way instead of slamming together chambers. Still, though, I mean, like, if this is virtual reality, this is probably just as corruptible by an egomanical AI. So, uh, button on the wall. Button on the wall does our exit over there with a very big drop down here. Uh, there is a button over there to get ourselves another cube and you for launching purposes. Let's drop down into you to get over to... Yeah, okay, things just took a really, really big, really big change. Uh, what the fuck? It's not so cute anymore. I don't like this now. <laughs> okay, it, it's not cute anymore at all. Um, no, everything in fact has gone quite horrible. Uh, exit is here with what looks like somebody slaughtered Steve here. Run. Okay, well, run. Um, it's connected to buttons, right? Broken buttons with... Pixel snot? Is that Steve's brain matter? 
Oh god, this has just gone horrible now, hasn't it? It started so cute and adorable with that really pretty paper craft cube. Now what the fuck are we in? Yeah, okay. Um, things just took a very horrific turn. Right, we're now in pixel art. What the hell is that sound? I don't like this one bit now. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, arrows pointing me to go back the way I can. Do not enter. Ah! The hell? What the fuck are you? No, seriously, what the hell is this? This map is not what I thought it was. Terrified of ice cream lied to me. Everything on the workshop made this look so nice. Uh, aperture shipping. Yeah, okay, but what are you shipping? And does it come back again? I, I don't want to go in there. I really genuinely don't. Uh, yeah, that. What is it? Are you... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll kill me. Uh, run. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, I will. I will avoid it at all costs first, but, um... Something tells me we're going to have to go in there. What on earth is that? The mucus eye of Sauron. Um, ah! What are you? What are you? What is that? <laughs> that is absolutely horrific. What the hell? I guess you're what we run from. You're just going to keep coming, aren't you? What even the hell is it? I don't care if there's a puzzle in here, that is too... just... just... just no. Um... I, is he gone? He's gone. He's gone, which means he can reappear at any fucking point, can he? Yeah, okay, um... Sorry, I, I, I've run out of things to say. I was expecting a very kind of cutesy pixel art Minecraft adventure through Aperture, um... Not this nightmarish hellscape. Uh, right, so... Don't stop. Yeah, well, if I see him again... Yeah, yeah okay, don't stop. Genuinely, don't fucking stop. Um, I don't know what to do. There's two kinds of horror in here. Uh, yeah, we need cubes. Okay, let's look for cubes and avoid that and the other that. Oh, man. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a horror map. We're going to have to go in there, aren't we? It said, don't stop. There was another... There's a cube. Uh, there's a panel there. Can I... We need cubes, but where's... Where's... What's his face? If it's even a face. Is it down here? Yeah, do not enter. Do not stop. Um, let's get that cube, because we need cubes. These do function as panels. There he is again. Let's drop into here. Let's get up on this before... Do you, do you... I'm almost certain you'll kill me. Can you just just go away and stay away? Can I get up here and get this cube for that? No, this is tricky enough, please. It's hard enough to concentrate. Yeah, even the cubes are covered in blood. That's never a good sign, is it? Um, Let's leave you here. And enter the do not enter before... Let's call him Larry, shall we? That might make it slightly less horrible. So, in here was the other thing. Who I can hear sounding like Pac-Man? Blood... Ah, yeah, you! What the fuck even is that? You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Just, just, just leave me be. Just please leave me be. Um... So, now we appear to be in the mucus-stained, blood-splattered back rooms, being chased by... Let's call this one Ted. Ted is horrible too, um... What, what am I doing in here? Don't... There's more of them, there's more of them. That one's Phil. Okay, Ted and Phil live in here. Um, what are we doing? We need another cube from somewhere, right? So, navigate this horror. Until we find another cube. Oh, I don't like how they cross through each other. There is another cube there, though. Let's grab you. Can you just, 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 just 
Leave me be. There's panels in here, so maybe we can get use those to get out. No, no, they just keep coming. Done. What the fuck is that now? How the fuck do I make a death icon from that? Okay, so you quick save me at the cube. Um, very kind of you. Let's let's just get in there, get that fucking cube, and get the hell out of there. Uh, where was it? Ted, Phil, please, please leave me be. It was this way, right? It was round here. Somewhere tucked back. Not that way. Not that way. There, there's the other cube. Can you, can you go that way? I grab you, and then, hi. You looked at me menacingly when I died. I didn't like it. Um, let's get out of here. Let's actually, get, can I not use you? Let's get out of here quicker. Let's get go through there. Let's get out of here quicker, right. Back up here. Now there's the big guy to worry about. Uh, Larry, stay gone. Okay, I need these two cubes. Any chance you'll let me do this because they're special lightweight paper cubes? No, of course not. Fine, let's get these back to roughly where we started. Well, not where we started, where we appeared when everything turned into a nightmare. Which is around here, and where's where's the big guy? Okay, the big guy is gone. You sit on there, you go grab the other one, and we can hopefully get out of this? There's gonna be more of this, right? There he is. Yeah, there you are. You're gonna kill me too, aren't you? Can you, any, any chance this is safe? Ugh. That's that. Like, how do you even come up with that? Terrified by ice cream, you've got bigger things to worry about than ice cream. Maybe that's what you see when you get an ice cream headache. I don't know. Let's uh, get this other cube and get it on that other button and get the fuck through that door, shall we? You sit on this one. Gives us our exit. Our exit takes us to darkness. Worrying, worrying darkness. Now what? What are you doing now? What could be worse than that? What are you doing now? Oh. Oh, okay, um, simulation completed? Horrific, horrendous simulation completed, I guess. Uh, okay, I guess we completed our first virtual reality aperture simulation. That was a Voxel, made and recommended by Terrified of Ice Cream. So a very big thank you to Terrified of Ice Cream for sharing that absolutely horrific, nightmarish hellscape of a pixelated murder world with us. Um, yeah, I don't know what to make of any of that. I really don't. It started so adorable and turned into an absolute nightmare. That was that was just horrific, to be completely honest. And I still don't know what the hell was going on with that giant eye that killed us. Uh, if you'd like to recommend a map for me to try and play, preferably not quite so terrifying, then please go ahead and recommend it via the usual means. So thank you very much for watching, and until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, try and sleep well, because um, now I can't.